goodness, guys. <laughs> if you don't know, once you become a parent and your baby goes down, it's party time. You get to do whatever you want. And in this time when she's down, <clears throat> I'm making this YouTube video for y'all. Hey guys, I had some videos planned out for y'all, but I had some things that I'm going through in my life right now that I felt like could really resonate with y'all. So today, March 28th, Monday, I am making this video super fresh for y'all because I feel like it is so important. And I feel like most of you who are pre-physical therapy students struggling right now who are trying to get really good grades in your prerequisite classes, you feel this pressure to get A's in your anatomy, physiology, biochem, all those classes. And it might be hard because maybe it's midterms, maybe you had an exam and maybe you're not quite getting the grades and performance results that you want. And so I wanted to share something very quick about uh, <laughs> my time as a parent with my little precious angel only when she sleeps. But when she's awake, she might be <laughs> quite the opposite. <laughs> right. So guess what? Now, some of you may know because some of you might have children, but I'm going to make a pretty smart educated guess that most of you who are college students right um probably don't have kids and if you don't know having a kid is a lot of work and i love leilana to death but um she can be just a really really more than a handful like she's more she's like an armful you know what i'm saying oh man she is just great but also can take a lot of my time. And for those of you who know me and who've been following me, um, I post consistently on YouTube. I'm doing all these things online in my business and I'm a full-time physical therapist. I'm a full-time husband. And now I gotta be a full-time dad. So emerging into this new role as a parent has been a big challenge. And some of you might feel the same way because you might feel like you're emerging into this new role as this high performing student who is excelling in their academics. Maybe in the past, you're like, you know what? I kind of, uh, I was going to say dicked around, but messed around, right? Um, and just, we wanted to take a step into this new chapter in your life and say, I am going to be a better person. I'm going to sleep early. I'm going to study hard. I'm going to get good grades. And you have this vision of wanting to become an expectation of wanting to be this high performing student or this high accelerating academically uh, accelerated student. But it's not that easy, right? You probably said, okay, I'm going to do this. This is my, uh, this is, uh, I'm going to, I'm retaking bio two right now. And uh, I'm really, really, I told myself, I'm really going to try hard to get good grades in here. And a couple exams later, you, maybe you're still getting B's, maybe you're still getting C's and you're not quite at the A level or performing as well as you want it to be. Oh yeah. As a dad, I had this expectation of being this awesome father who is present with my daughter who can do xyz with her and you know what i'm gonna learn everything from youtube videos from books and i'm gonna get this parenting thing down and right now i know she's asleep so it looks like everything is calm cool and collected but y'all don't see what happened before this video to get her down like this and i can't do that so, because she really likes that. <laughs> um, but guys, you know, it's just over and over and over. Leilana is a very colicky baby. So she has a hard time going to bed and just cries and cries. Mom and dad tried everything over and over. The different strategies, the different tactics. We researched all these things. We gave her all these different methods to try to get her calm and sleep. <sighs> And it's just not as well as we planned it. 
And some of you might be doing that with your studying. Maybe your studying habits, you tried the Pomodoro method, right? You tried getting rid of your distractions. You tried doing all these things. You tried going to office hours. And it's just not at the point where you are expecting to be at. And I wanted to make this video and just share that to share two things that I think would really resonate with you. Number one, it's okay, right? It's okay to have this expectation to be at this high level, but it's okay that you may not meet there. I know that you feel this pressure to accelerate and perform and get A's because your GPA matters and you're like, I need to get a high GPA to get into PT school and increase my chances, right? Um, but you know what? There is something that you're going through right now that's going to pay off later on. And that, my friend, is called work ethic, right? You chose to step and lean into the resistance, to lean into the struggle of what it takes to get to that next level. If you're going to accelerate and level up to that next place, you're going to have to become uncomfortable, and that's okay to be uncomfortable and keep trying to push through. And even though that you might not get the results and you're frustrated, I want to let you know that you're doing a great job because sooner or later, you're going to keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. And guess what? You're going to break through. You're going to get that A on that exam. You're going to get that A on that final. And then your final grade is going to be way higher than you're expecting it to be. This happened to me when I was in PT school in my hardest class that I've ever taken in my life, neuro rehab. Oh my goodness. Every single test I've taken, C, C, D. Maybe I got to be here once. And then it was finals time. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am feeling so defeated. I don't know if I can do this, et cetera, et cetera. And you know what, throughout that, throughout that process, I reminded myself, you know what, Justin, you tried really, you're trying really hard and you're constantly working and you are the hardest worker in the room, you're going to make it. Keep believing in yourself, go, go and go. And I told myself that over and over and over again as I was studying for that final. And guess what? I ended up getting an A in the final and passing the class with the B, which is fantastic. I will take it. Neuro rehab is not my specialty, so getting a B in there is like the best achievement I could have possibly have done and proven to myself. And that just told me and reminded me that whatever you do, if you constantly work hard at it, you're going to learn this work ethic and your effort is what is growing. And even though that you're expecting your performance, right, the end result to grow, but the effort to take get you to that performance is going to, you're going to learn so much more from that process. So that's the first thing I wanted to share with you. Second thing, this one is just so great. And I just want to share that this in this video, I understand. I understand what you're going through. Life is hard. And you may not be able to control your circumstances, maybe at home, maybe your family, maybe your friends. And because of that, it's affecting all parts of your life, like your grades, your social life. Maybe you can't get, you can't go and work as a PT aide or work as, uh, or work um, and get your volunteer hours because your circumstances are limiting you from doing that. And, uh... <laughs> My circumstances definitely are limiting me from put getting to my maximum potential in this season of my life. But guess what? I have been struggling with this for a long time and just allowed my circumstance to dictate what my life is going to be like. Oh, I can't do that. I can't post on YouTube because I have her. I can't do this because of this. And I been in this rut of being in this can't mentality and some of you might be resonate with that, resonating with that like you can't get good grades because of your housing situation you can't get that letter of rec because you don't know anybody and i just want to share once i shifted my mindset from that can't to can pers um, perspective that can't mindset and i know you guys heard this before right 
But honestly, your mindset and your words play a huge role in how your perspective and how you take the steps towards life. If you are constantly doubting yourself, if you're constantly having fear of the next steps, you will always, no matter what, always be limited and put in this box of this can't life. And guess what? Sooner or later, you're going to say it can't, can't, can't so many times. And then you're going to give up. You're going to give up from potentially being an awesome physical therapist who is going to impact so many people with your words and your hands to heal them and to help them elevate to that next level. Because of your can't, you are limiting the ability to impact all these people who need your help. So imagine if you changed your can't perspective to a can perspective, that unlocks and opens up the door of opportunity for you to lean into and work towards and then become to get into PT school and then to become a physical therapist. And because this day that you chose from can't to can, now you're helping and serving the world and changing lives of thousands of people every single year. Because you chose to say, I can do this. It's hard, but I can do this. And guess what? As a father, it's hard. I can't do this. I can't put her down. I don't have boobs. I can't, I can't let her suck, 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 and then fall asleep. But guess what? I said, you know what? I'm going to figure this out. And I can do this. I can get her down. So you know what I do? I do whatever I can to get this little angel down and it has been amazing and i love this journey that i've gone through and i've learned so much through this struggle you know i always say this there is no adaptation without resistance and just like muscles we need resistance for us to grow right you want muscles to get bigger and stronger you want to get bigger and stronger you're going to have to get uncomfortable and work through resistance. So I encourage you today, for those of you who are struggling in your classes, your prerequisite classes, the hard ones, physics, chemistry, physiology, all these classes where maybe you're retaking right now and it's like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to break through? My encouragement to you today on March 28th, as I'm posting this video, is that yes, you can and i believe in you change your can't perspective to a can mindset and you will be amazed at what will come from that from you changing that today to what it's gonna be like years from now your investment in just one change one word minusing the t from can't to can is going to multiply and you eventually, down the road, as a physical therapist, you will impact thousands of lives. Trust me, these hands that you have were meant to heal. And I want to help you thrust into that physical therapist to get you into PT school and help you impact lives. I have this strong desire in my heart because I know that physical therapists are amazing and they have they're one of the best professions in the world because we have the ability to impact so 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 many freaking people and the best part is we don't have to use any kind of medicine we literally just use our brain and our hands and our eyes to analyze movement and we can change pain we can manipulate the way people perceive life and really improve the quality the overall quality of people's lives just because of what we do as physical therapists. So I encourage you today, change your mentality from can't to can. <laughs> Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift up your faith, and lift others up. Stay lifting, lift for change.